Afaili, an indigenous farming community is surrounded by other settlements. Living in this part of the country requires a lot of sacrifice as development appears to be far away. Water, one of the essential commodities of life, is hard to come by. For years, residents have been grappling with the shortage. This, according to residents, is impacting negatively on their lives. School was not in session during the new team's visit. The head teacher, who is also the assemblyman for the area, told the new team pupils do not bath before coming to school because water is scarce. Children go to school without bathing. No water for them to bath. That's why I mentioned earlier that teachers they find it difficult to stay here and teach because no water. A Clark says female teenager Amabetha said the water crisis posed serious challenge for girls in their menstrual cycle. As an adolescent, when you don't bath and go to school, you don't feel comfortable. You often smile, and when the teacher is teaching, you don't even feel like being in the class. So sometimes the concentration is not even there. A dam dug by the community had dried up, while three boreholes provided remained dysfunctional. Cowboys and their grazing heads are also feeling the impact of the drought. In the community, women and pupils encounter daunting tasks scouting water for domestic use. With the aid of bicycles, both the elderly and children ride in search. The river Daka, which is the alternative source of water, was finally reached after about an hour ride. Amabetha told the new steam pupils usually come to fetch water three times each morning before showing up in school, but on some occasions they don't go to school at all. At Chamba, a neighboring community, Government One Village One Dam is fast drying at a time the communities needed it. Residents say Member of Parliament for the area, Dominic Nitiwu, promised to address the water crisis in the area, for which reason he was voted for. The MP, after the election, has erected two water polytank stands with a view of tapping and distributing water to underserved communities nearby. Residents say this is long overdue.